Morning, Tool fans. Uh, today, I got Chad Kramer with me and from IT, and we're going to talk about the Meraki uh, Mesh Wi-Fi kit for our job sites. We talked about kind of what comes in the kit and how we go through the process of getting that set up and getting that figured out, but once we're actually in the field and we need to get this thing installed, what's that look like? Because, frankly, Chad, that box had a lot of parts in it. We got a lot of stuff sitting here on the table, and, and what's this entail to get this thing set up and running? Right, um does have, the box does have a lot of components to it, but they're a little easier to set up than one would think. Awesome. Um, we have, we're going to have two types of access points. We're going to have your main your main access point, which will plug into your trailer kit. Okay. And it is labeled as access point one. Okay. So it's very important that we start off with access point one. So this is a field one, so this one's not labeled. That is a field one. Okay. Um, each, each antenna will come with two of these uh, dipole antennas. These will screw into the 2.4 gigahertz ports. All right. And those 2.4 gigahertz ports ports are labeled and they're on the top of the unit? They're labeled and they will be on the top of the unit. Okay. And these antennas, these dipoles, as you call them, these are the same no matter what? So these, are, these are universal. Okay. A difference, a difference in the access points comes when we start talking about the patch antenna. Um, the trailer patch antenna will be a square and the mesh antennas will be a rectang uh, rectangle. Okay, so there should only be one square antenna in the kit, but we may have multiple of the rectangular yeah. antennas, which are going to be the field Correct. antenna. Okay. When mounting, when mounting the the main uh, square antenna, you want to point this centrally located to your mesh points out in the field. Okay, so if you got kind of a range on them, you know they're kind of yeah. spread around site. You want to point out in kind of the middle of the herd there. Yep. And then the rectangular ones, they're designed for more of a straight beam, so you want to line of sight those back to your main antenna as best you can. Sure, so if this is out in the field, point it back at that at that square antenna as best yep. I can. All right, and make sure there's no stairways, yep. tanks, walls, whatever. Yep. Okay. Um, the, those will plug into the five gigahertz ports. All right, and those are labeled, and those are on the bottom. They're labeled, those are on the bottom of the unit. Also identified by, there is a RJ45 port on the bottom of that. All right, now mine, so it's got this kind of bushing here, which is what the RJ45 is going to go through. Yep. So in this case, this RJ45 has already been routed through that bushing and Correct. is ready to hook up in the yep. back of there. And these are used to keep water out of the unit. So you'll need to disassemble. You'll need, it's kind of a snap fit, so you need to disassemble that, put that around your cable, and then that will plug into the bottom of your access point. And this will screw into the access point itself creating a nice watertight seal, so that way we can keep moisture out of the unit, and that'll le greatly lessen the chance of malfunction. Okay. All right, now these bottom these bottom connectors, these five gigahertz, which I'm still doing mine, these got a rubber a rubber boot on them, rubber it looks boot, like. Rubber boot that also goes over the fittings. Again, okay. Again, keep moisture out. All right, so go ahead and slide those up, seal it up. Now, on the, on the main unit, that will actually come around, and that will plug into the um, PoE switch in your trailer unit. So that switch is this main, or that center part there. Yep. So we just plug it into any of the ports any there. port will work, and that'll provide power to your access point outside. Okay. The mesh kits, we have PoE, and you will want to plug those into the, into the port that says, that says power out. And these will wirelessly, and then plug your other end into the access point, and that will provide power to the access point. It will connect up wirelessly to your main to your main uh, access point. Okay, and so all this unit's doing is providing power. So it's got another port on here. I don't need to use it. Um, there may be instances when when we need to use that, but we can cover that with IT okay. as we need. We'll talk about the specifics of that when the time comes. Yep. Awesome. Each access point comes with a mounting bracket. There's a little metal tab and a lock screw. Those go to the bottom of the unit. After, of course, you mount this on a piece of conduit, much like we would with our, our uh, cellular kit. Sure. So you're click into place, tighten your set screw, and that will hold the unit in place. Your antennas, again, mount very much like your cell kit. Place it up to your conduit, zip tie to your conduit, and that will hold your antenna in place. All right. 
Um, is there any, so I see this green ground wire on there. Do we need to do anything with that or what's, what's the thought on this? If we're in an environment where static could be a problem, I would recommend grounding the unit. Okay, so that would be connecting it to the conduit it's yep. mounted on or whatever structure? Okay. Next question is, uh, so when we tear this unit out, so we're done with it, we're at the end of the job. Any tips or tricks to turn this down or, or what do we got to do there? Well, once again, brackets are <coughs> because we are unable to get replacement brackets for these. Sure. Um, this watertight bushing is important. If it is difficult, feel free to go ahead and cut the cable off. Um, send the unit back. We'll take care of it from there. Uh, all right. Make sure that all brackets come back and send those to the Remarkable Tool Crib. Awesome. Well, appreciate it, Chad. So with that, we hope it gives a little insight on how to set these up and remove a little bit of the complexity here because there is a lot of pieces and uh, makes it just a touch simpler as we get out there installing the Meraki mesh system. Uh, with that, we want you to have a safe day and we want you to have a good day. Thanks.